December 7, 1941, a date that will live in infamy. The very next day, the United States declares war against Japan and enters World War II. The War Department races to get the country prepared for battle. After applying for a pilot training school, the citizens of Hondo learn on February 7th that they will be passed over because of a housing shortage. By noon the next day, Hondo pulls together and commits to housing 400 workers throughout the town in private homes. Washington authorizes construction of the Hondo Army Airfield. The Henry B. Zachary Company of San Antonio used 3,000 workers to construct more than 600 buildings, numerous streets, a utility network, and an airdrome with runways, taxiways, and aprons in 89 days at a cost of over $7 million. A 330-unit housing project known as Navigation Village sprang up on 52 acres at the southeast corner of the 3,600-acre base. On July 4th, operations began under Colonel G.B. Danny, with students operating B-34s, B-18s, and AT-11s. The first class of navigators graduated in November of the same year. The Hondo Army Airfield is the largest navigation school at the time. The Women's Air Force Service Pilot Squadrons, affectionately called WASPs, are assigned to the air base in 1942 and include well-known female pilots like Betty Henrik and Hollywood stud actress Mary Wiggins. In December 1945, the base closes and training ends with over 14,000 navigators trained. Most of the housing units and other fixtures are sold as war surplus. After World War II, civilian operators such as Holloway Flying School trained student pilots under the GI Bill. However, that lasted only until 1951 in the Korean War. On June 25, 1950, the North Korean People's Army crossed the 38th parallel and invades South Korea. The United States Air Force reactivates the Hondo Airfield in a joint mission with Texas Aviation Industries and H.P. Zachary, training pilots in J-3s and T-6s. In 1955, training begins on T-28s and T-34s, which replace the four-year cycle on J-3s and T-6s. This training continues until the unofficial start of the Vietnam War in 1958, when private pilot training takes over again. In 1965, 3,500 Marines are dispatched to South Vietnam, and in late 1969, the draft starts for Vietnam War. In the spring of 1973, the U.S. Air Force begins flight training in Hondo using the T-41 Mescalero, which continues into the 1980s. Today, the Hondo Army Airfield has been renamed the South Texas Regional Airport at Hondo. The U.S. Air Force left in 2010, but the airport still boasts four runways two over 6,000 feet and two around 3,500 feet. Hondo's airport was named the 2009 Texas Airport of the Year under the guidance of the 2006 Texas Airport Manager of the Year. It has numerous commercial tenants including the U.S. Aviation, Corrigan Air Center, and AirVac Lag Team. In 2009, the Tex Hill Wing of the Commemorative Air Force moved from Fredericksburg, Texas to Hondo. In 2010, a group within the Tex Hill Wing formed a 501c3 nonprofit named the Hondo Army Airfield Museum Incorporated. The members of the Hondo Army Airfield Museum nonprofit want to preserve and showcase the rich aviation history surrounding the airbase from its creation until recent years. Hondo, Texas has played a huge part in training our pilots and navigators throughout World War II, Korea, and Vietnam, and most of the history and memorabilia is fading into history. The Museum and Commemorative Air Force volunteers help organize the Hondo Army Airfield Fly-In, which draws thousands each year to Hondo, Texas. The Fly-In showcases not only the aircraft from World War II, but also the modern, state-of-the-art facility the South Texas Regional Airport at Hondo has become. To best honor the thousands of pilots who trained at our airbase through World War II, the Cold War, Korea, and Vietnam, the museum is collecting physical and oral history to be displayed and observed at a future facility on the airport property. This collection, like the one displayed here, would be a tremendous draw for history buffs and people who have history in Hondo, Texas. The museum board is planning on an extremely large facility with both static displays and active flying aircraft from World War II to Vietnam. Their plan is to have a fly-in, fly-out hangar that will be, make history come alive for the young and young at heart. Thank you for your interest in the Hondo Army Airfield Museum, the Tex Hill Wing of the Commemorative Air Force, and the South Texas Regional Airport at Hondo. 
You can get more information about our groups and the airport at the Hondo Area Chamber of Commerce. Your support is greatly appreciated.